Hi guys, what's up? It's Amanda and welcome back to Tokyo. But right now, I'm in Los Angeles and actually I'm in Target. What I want to show you is the best omiyage or souvenirs to bring back to Tokyo. I'm just going to kind of show you what I recommend to bring back. Cause we're all California I long to wrap my arms around you Wanna love and renew you Hey guys, what's up? It's Editing Amanda from the future. I wanted to pop in really quickly to tell you that I'm skipping ahead on some of my vlogs. The reason being is that I think that this one will be really useful for people who are traveling for a summer vacation, who are going to America and coming back to Japan. They're trying to think of what to bring back as souvenirs or for their own personal use. That is why I'm posting this one first, but if you're interested in my other LA vlogs that are soon to come, please make sure to subscribe and yeah, so you can stay updated on all my Los Angeles adventures that I had when I went to go visit LA. Um, okay, that's it, bye. Good morning. It is about 10.30 in the morning. It is officially my last day in Los Angeles. We're gonna do some shopping. We're gonna get the stuff that I could not find in Japan. So that is the plan for today. And yeah, let's hit the road. And the Jay Z song was on. And the Jay Z song was on. Yeah. It's a party in the USA. Yeah. It's a party in the USA. There's a lot of things that are difficult to find in Japan or in Tokyo. What I want to do today is do some shopping and show you guys exactly what you should buy and bring back or maybe some treats, candy, souvenirs to bring back for your friends. Things that Americans tend to generally miss when moving to other countries, um, especially Japan because I know what you can buy in Japan and what is quite difficult to buy in Japan. So today that's what I want to show you what omiyage. Omiyage, by the way, is Japanese for souvenirs, so what to bring back home. So one thing on the list is Reese's Pieces Buttercups. Like, I think you possibly could find these in Tokyo, but they're really hard to find. And some of my coworkers asked me if I could get some, so of course I'm gonna get some for them because I know the struggle is real when you are craving some American treats or food or candies. If I can get an eight pack for only a dollar eighty, that's pretty good. So now I'm sunglass shopping. I don't know, I'm not into the these like retro kind of frames. What do you guys think? What can you see? What do you think? What do you guys think? I don't know, I don't think it's suited for my face. Let's try some more. The lovely display. Isn't it nice? America, America. Okay, so what about these? Oh, I can't even see. It's so dark. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. See, to me, these are nice. You should never like the sunglasses I picked. Oh no, no, no. I don't know, are these cool? Distracted again. I told you I get distracted. Okay, you know what? Back to the candy. I didn't even finish in that aisle. I, I got distracted. I had to go to the bathroom and then I saw sunglasses. This girl gets distracted really easily. Okay, let's go back to the food section. Priorities, necessities first. So right now I'm in Target and I'm in the food aisle, which is probably gonna be a lot of this video is like treats, snacks, food, but I'm also gonna like try to find some more everyday stuff that might be difficult to find in Japan. I'm in the snack section and with cookies, of 
lots and lots of cookies. You know, cookies are quite difficult to find in Japan, I found. But, um, so I'm gonna re recommend some cookies that you probably didn't think about bringing back. They have so many Oreos. They have fudge covered Oreos. They have mint Oreos, and you know mint's pretty big in Japan these days. Latte, cream Oreos, birthday cake Oreo. That's really interesting. Ew, what is this? Really? They have carrot cake Oreo, red velvet Oreo. Okay, so you can find Oreos in Japan, right? They are not American Oreos. I don't know. I, I would assume American Oreos are the original Oreo, but I could be wrong. But Oreos in Japan taste a lot different than the original Oreos that I know and grew up with. So I would recommend to bring Oreos back. I'm in the chips away section now. Yuji has requested chewy chips away. Oh, so many different cookies here. Oh my god. Okay, so now I am in the chip section. So there are some chips in Japan that taste differently from American versions of it. Just your plain old original Cheetos, they taste much different in Japan. This is awful. Blech, blech. Flaming hot Cheetos. Can't find those. Highly recommend. This is wonderful, very good, yummy, delicious, awesome. Okay, some more candy I got. Some from my workplace. Um, I got, I think Starbucks you can find in Japan, but it's quite expensive, so I just got it. And then I got this for Mariana. I thought maybe she'll like this. I think it's vegetarian. If not, I'll eat them. Okay, so I got candy. I think I'm gonna look at the cereal section now. I would recommend taking home some American cereal because, you know, that's pretty American. I don't think you get much more American than cereal. So the cereal I opted for was Trix. I love Trix. It's full of sugar. Love it. It is a sugar bomb, like when I eat it. So it's only for a special occasion. I'll have a bowl of Trix or when I'm feeling down, maybe I had a rough day, then maybe I'll have a bowl of Trix. But there's so many cereals you can get here and Strong contender. Okay. Cutie mayonnaise is $6.99. That's like 700 yen. So yeah, one thing I'm totally gonna recommend is corn tortillas because they are impossible to find in Japan. I've seen them once, like at a Kaldi coffee, and I've never seen them again. Uh, corn tortillas, not flour tortillas, corn tortillas. You know, the struggle is real when you cannot have a proper carne asada taco a proper pork carnitas taco. The struggle is real and you need a corn tortilla. Okay, so I had to get out of the food section because I'm starting to get hungry. So now I'm actually in the pharmaceutical section because over-the-counter stuff here is a lot stronger than what over-the-counter in Japan is. So I'm just getting some bare essentials here for emergencies and whatnot because it's always good to have and especially as someone who's not very good at speaking Japanese it's quite cumbersome and like just not always a pleasant experience for me to actually go to the doctor and try to communicate what I'm saying what I want what I need when I just have a minor cold a minor flu a little fever um, I just want to take something and feel relaxed so, so there are some things you could not bring back to Japan when being day quill so we will not be buying that today but there are some things you can get and I'm gonna pick some up. Okay, so I'm done with the medicinal part of my shopping experience. I'm gonna show you that stuff a little bit later. Now I'm actually in the deodorant section, maybe? What would you call this personal care section? Looking for some Old Spice for Yuji. It looks like they have spray which he might actually like he loves smelling good I love that he, lo he loves smelling good so now I'm in the women's personal care section and one thing I definitely need is some clinical strength deodorant ain't gonna lie I sweat yeah. I would recommend Dove or Degree 
clinical protection. I feel like I'm advertising here. Anyways, yes, degree. Oh no, this is Dove. Dove or degree works very well. Secret, however, does not. And my battery is dying, so I might have to continue this vlog at home. Guys, look at all the deodorant I got. And it's so expensive, it's like $10 each. What the fuck? Okay, I'm home now. I charged my battery a bit. Well, I'm at my parents' home now. So I charged my battery a bit. Um, I was just telling my mom that I went to Target for, what, three hours? Oh my God, and I was about to show her what I bought to get her reaction. So I thought, this is a good opportunity to vlog. First reactions. Are you gonna model? No, I'm not gonna model. Did you get what you call it? Oh gosh. Uh, just Target, huh? Target's pretty nice now, huh? It's the same. <laughs> oh, uh, it was getting real junky. Oh, Those was it? Stuff. Yeah, really junky. So I got bras. I needed bras. Woo! Oh. And then I got tricks. Tricks are for kids. God, Mom, it's hot in here. I got this. Mariana and John. I got it for them. Reese's. Can you guys? Wow, Reese's pieces. Whoa, so many deodorants! Oh, deodorants! So many. Oh, it's hot in here. Aren't you hot? Oh, I got the door. I see the door open. PM. Oh, this is for dipping for potato chips. You put this in with mayonnaise and buttermilk. Um, I got Dunkin' Donuts coffee for some of my students, my adult students. Your adult students? Yeah. You have adult students too? Yeah. I've always had adult students. I just take the little kids. No, I have adult children. What else did I get? I got this, which is good for flu-like symptoms. Oh, okay, yeah. This has always worked really well for me. I highly recommend this. They're like little beads that you just pour on your tongue and they dissolve. And for me, it's always worked when I, whenever you start feeling like you're coming down with something. This is really good. Corn tortillas! Oh. Corn tortillas! This is sinus medicine for UG. And I also got them allergy medicine. Oh, yeah, that's, that's good stuff. I spent three hundred dollars. Wow. Bring us to life. Bring us to life. I feel stress on the rise. I feel stuck in a rude way. Oh baby, baby, get on the plane. Let's get so get dressed, pack your bags, feel the heart and the mood. You won't believe what we're about to do. Say the market, leather skirt, almost. Look at it. Look, they have these cute little Pikachu slippers for kids. It's so cute. Oh, look, cute little Gryffindor outfits for kids. So cute. They have a life-size Moana doll. Like this is my my hand. This is her head. It's crazy. Okay. Ew. Doggy do. When you gotta go, you gotta go.